Hello friends, today we are going to understand the basics of marketing management. Marketing management deals with the core concepts of what is, what are the different challenges and the functions of marketing management helps us in meeting the organizational targets. There are various aspects to be understood in marketing management. Let us begin with the basics of marketing. There are other aspects like understanding consumer behavior. Then the companies, they plan their all marketing initiatives, taking into consideration their strategies for new market. And in that, they carry out functions like targeting, segmenting, positioning and getting the results from the market. Today, we are going to understand about basic marketing management, the various concepts and the various challenges of marketing management. Now, the today's outline of presentation, I would like to uh, inform you about this. We are going to understand about the definitions, different definitions from different marketing gurus. Then about next thing is let us understand the what is core marketing concept. And then over a period marketing management evolved that there are old marketing concepts and modern marketing concept. Pre-globalization era was considered as an old marketing concept. And when the globalization started, the new marketing uh, strategies, new marketing initiatives started. Let us understand that concept also. And uh, let us understand the hierarchy of marketing management philosophies. And then we have to contrast between the marketing management and sales management. And that gives us about idea about the new challenges those are facing, faced by the organizations. Now, let us, uh, the today's objectives of understanding this uh, uh, lesson is that uh, we are going to understand, uh, the objective is to understand this uh, various uh, definitions of management and then understand the different marketing concepts that means old marketing concept and new marketing concept. And then let us understand the various marketing philosophies to make it conceptual, conceptually clear this marketing management. And now in this uh, globalized networked economy, the various challenges faced by this marketing management concept. So marketing management is a process basically that identifies anticipates and satisfies the customer requirements profitably. This is the standard definition given by the Apex organization which works for marketing management. That is the Chartered Institute of Marketing. Now the next definition, if you see there, the right product in the right place at the right time and at the right price. These things are very crucial for any company and marketing management gives the strategic support to this cause. And that's why the second definition given by the expert is the right product in the right place at the right time and at the right price. The management guru who initiated the concept of marketing management, Philip Kotler, in 1980, he, he gave a definition that is very clear that it's a human activity directed at satisfying human needs and want through an exchange process. But the same Philip Kotler in 1991, this is the era where the globalization started. That is the WTO came out with a pact, a world trade agreement and that agreement resulted in 190 countries uh, coming together 
for opening up of the economy and that concept is called as a globalized economy or open market economy that change the canvas of marketing management marketing is social and managerial process by individuals and groups they obtain what they want and need through a creating offering and exchange of products of value with others that's a new definition given by the same management guru philip kotler in 1991 now let us understand the successful marketing that means we want to get best results out of this entire exercise and that is it should be profitable it should not be defensive rather it should be offensive it should be integrated and strategic means future oriented you are targeting for a short term period for a medium term period and for the long term period all your management initiatives and the it should be effective that means it should be measurable it should be result oriented now let us understand the core marketing concept the core marketing concept if you see there that in terms of when when the exchange takes place and customer is interested in a value for the, his money and for that the entire process should be a closed loop and this core marketing concept means you are satisfying the needs and wants of the customer by offering him a product or a service which satisfies his need and for that you are carrying out uh, you are carrying out a market research and market survey and there is a market for that particular product based on that you are designing your product or a service this is called as a core marketing concept so far we understood what is marketing management and the definition given by the apex organization that is chartered institute of marketing and then even a marketing guru philip kotler in old marketing concept how he defined a marketing and when the economy became globalized the when the world trade organizations came out with a, a global economic concept in that the canvas of marketing management changed we understood that definition also so now let us and let us you know uh, check whether we understood it correctly or not so a small quiz is given to you that first question is here the activity for creating communicating delivering exchanging offering that benefit the organization its stakeholder and society at large is referred to as four options are available to you a marketing b marketing and promotion c creative planning and d is consumerism now answer to this is marketing because we understood the definition of the marketing and in that all this creating communicating delivering and exchanging is called as a marketing the second question to clear our conceptual understanding is what are the two central concepts of marketing there are four options given to you check a establishing market share and making profits b option gives you holding down costs and increasing profit c option gives you finding customers and making profit and d options gives you that discovering and satisfying needs now as far as the understanding is concerned the basics of marketing is based on this discovering and satisfying the needs so this gives you clear idea about how the marketing is you know perceived and what is the basis of marketing now there are two aspects how do the consumers they choose the first one is consumer value now that is cost benefit analysis return on investment and that is how customer compares what he is getting from the cost that he is paying for the product so customer is always interested in getting the uh, best benefit from that product and another aspect is customer satisfaction now the companies are talking of one step ahead that is customer delight so customer satisfaction should be good and 
that is seen by you know the increasing the customer share or market share of a company that means more customers are responding to your product or service now who purchases the products and services if you see a trend there there are market buyers actual buyers who are responding to your product or services and there are potential buyers so company must you know target the potential buyers in order to increase the market share so that the acceptance of the product or a, a service increases now the next is understanding the modern marketing system the modern marketing system there is a network of you no know, the various you know activities are involved there are competitors are a part of this activity because it's a open market economy and the competition decides the level of marketing initiatives from you so competitor is a one thing now the second element which is important is company your company initiatives what are the competitive advantages which your company is enjoying and then your supply chain that is marketing intermediaries how you are reaching out to the customer your customer satisfaction level and that is predicted that is indicated through your market share so that's why modern marketing system is a one which your company is continuously fulfilling the customer needs and there is a more you know lot of a customer they are very happy with your product or services and that's why they are opting for your products now there are three aspects of marketing management marketing management is a one core concept where company is in clear understanding of needs and wants of the customer the second one is the demand management there are phases where the upward trends are highly likely and during the recession period the company faces faces a lean phase now this asks for a demand management from the company side in order to fulfill the company targets and the third one is profitable customer relationships so customer relationship management is the buzzword today in order to reach out to the customer more efficiently and effectively to satisfy all the customer requirement so marketing management includes demand management and profitable customer relationships now let us understand the marketing management philosophies there are over a period the marketing management today that we see is a more you know globalized and more modern concept of marketing uh, activities we see but the earlier the concept started with a production concept in which produce it at low cost and fulfill the requirements of a customer the product concept that meant the requirement of the customer and which the products offered by the company that was the only choice for the customer and selling is the consumers they buy the product which are offered by the company the choice was not much that was pre 1990 era before the open economy started and then the marketing concept is go to the market and find out the marketing gap understand the needs and requirement wants of the customer and based on that produce a product or a service societal marketing concept is a one in which the requirements of the societies are taken into account and those needs of the society are met through the market effective marketing functions so these five philosophies you know now today we are in the era of modern marketing management but prior to this the production concept was there product concept was there selling concept means that whichever the products were offered by the company they were sold in the market now when we see what is the selling concept and the marketing concept if you we are contrasting now to understand it very clearly that selling concept means starting point is a factory the focus is on existing product and then the means is the customer needs and 
get it profit is through the uh, volume sales. This is the selling concept. But now if you see in the marketing concept, the focus is on the market and then the activity is through the promoting that particular thing in the market and there is a concept called as integrated marketing that is integrated supply chain helps in continuously understanding the needs and wants of the customer and the basis of marketing management is profit through customer satisfaction. Focus is on satisfaction not on profit. So, this is the contrast in earlier selling concept and now the modern marketing concept that is supporting the cause. Now, coming to the uh, end of this session, the societal marketing concept is a one. There are consumer needs are there. The company is interested in the profit, but now the welfare dimension is very crucial. Now, many companies through the social activities, they are reaching out to the needy section of the society and society needs you know for development purpose many solutions and the all corporation as a one activity they are going for a societal marketing and that helps in meeting the requirements of the society at an affordable cost. Now coming to the end of this session the new marketing challenges marketing is going through it, it evolved over a period and today's marketing challenges are today there is due to the globalization it, it is this is called as open market economy there are no entry barriers in the market new entrants are flooding in the market and that is resulting in a cutthroat competition regulation of this is necessary and now it is changing the world economy because now the world is the market. So, you can target any you know uh, market place and you can start selling your product and that changing world economy is now regulating it is a major concern. Now, ethical concerns are the companies are resorting to there are so many violations of uh, IP uh, rights. Uh, patent violations are there, trade secret violations are there, copyright violations are there. So, even geographical indication violations are there, plant variety violations are there. So, the all the through the WIPO, the all the countries are now coming together to set the standards in order to meet the requirement. There is a non-profit marketing is another issue where the needy section of the society, there you need to ensure that you are reaching out to the, uh, the section of the people, those who are at the bottom of the pyramid in order to meet the requirement. So, emerging challenges are there, but this is a most, you know, strategic place where you can uh, rule the market and come out with the innovative products. Thank you for this session. Now, while concluding this session, I would like to once again take a review of this particular session. We started with the objective to understand the basic concepts of the man uh, marketing management. The title of my session is Basics Concepts and Basics of Management. Now, in this we understood the over a period how the definition of marketing management evolved, then the core concept of management. Then we understood the marketing, different marketing philosophies and we contrasted also the sales concept as well as marketing concept. Societal marketing is also very crucial for the development of society as a whole and lastly we uh, understood the challenges of today's marketing management. Thank you. See you again in the next session where we can take the next session is how the companies are going for customizing the corporation. Thank you.